Oh, my back is killing me. Why did you tell yourself you're gonna stand for the tutorial? Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So, when I did my quick fire assumptions challenge video, so many of you requested to, for me to do a tutorial on the look I had in that video. And honestly, I've been using products that I've been so obsessed with. And this is the look like, like this is my go-to look. If I was like going out or something like it's so glowy luminous natural but still glam a little glam at the same time you've got sultry smoky eyes um, not smoky but like a bit of smokiness you'll see what I mean when I do the tutorial and I also did a quick review on the new Huda Beauty lip balms I'm gonna stop rambling because I always do seem to do that <laughs> and we'll jump straight into the video okay so the first thing we're gonna do is brows I always start off with my brows first I'm going to be first using the Fenty Beauty brow pencil and we're just going to lightly film those brows in. Just like so. Then I'm going to use some of my got to be glued gel. I might actually have to put some of this in a pot because it's a bit annoying to always have to get the tube out. I put the tiniest bit on my spoolie and then I just kind of like brush it through both brows. Once I put the gel on, I then go back on with some um, brow pencil just to fill in any sparse areas really lightly. I'm then going to take some of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and we're just going to carve these brows. Okay, I'm happy with the way my brows are right now. So whilst I'm doing my makeup, I always like to put some lip balm on because I have the driest lips ever. And I recently received the new Huda Beauty lip balms. Now, I'm going to be honest, when I first saw these, I was a bit confused. But um, these are actually lip balms. They're soothing, glossy balms infused with the appearance of diamond dust for a super sparkly pout. And it's got a unique formula and has hydrating ingredients such as mango butter and its luminous shine oh so these are 22 pounds definitely more towards the high-end side so when i think of huda beauty i kind of compare pricing and quality to like bobby brown they stand for they're totally different brands but in terms of pricing and products i kind of like compare the two bobby brown have these extra lip tint balms that are 26 pounds they're really good i've tried them before and they do give a slight tint to the lips there's quite a, a bit of pigment now I tried one of these last night. I was actually quite pleased. I was so confused by the glitter. I'm like, why would you want glitter on a lip balm? But I think what she was trying to do is just bring something different to the market. And when you come out with products, I believe that that's what it's all about. Just bring something a bit different that doesn't, that's not really out there. So these are what they look like. I'm going to get real close up so you guys can actually see what these look like. So I hope you can see the sparkle on there. Looking closely at this, I don't think it's actual glitter glued on this. They've kind of changed the texture of it. And with the diamond dust, like glitter dust that's in it, it's kind of created this cute texture. But it's more a texture on the lipstick rather than glitter stuck on the top. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense. So it's not like chunky glitter in there. Okay, so this is what the lip balm looks like now. It's kind of like the glitter's gone off the surface a little bit. I think the glitter on the surface just makes it look cool. It just makes it look cool. But like I said, it's not necessarily big chunky glitter bits on the surface. Um, I think they did a cool way to just make it really presentable and cute. So as you can see, there's a really light tint. <sighs> and I love it. I love how it feels on the lips. These are one of the softest lip balms I've ever tried. And as you can see, it's given like a really light, pinky, lilac-y tint to my lips. And I do have pigmented lips, but I just feel like it added a little, a little bit of brightness. There is definitely glitter dust, not glitter particles. It almost looks like a gloss effect. Um, and that's what I see. I don't see like chunky bits of glitter. And this shade is censored and I, I really do like it. It feels amazing. They don't have a scent though, which I don't mind, but they feel so good. When I put this last night, like 
even this morning without anything my lips weren't like cracky or anything like that when usually they are so i did put this to the set to the test and i always like to wear lip balms when i go to sleep did, did i really need a little bit of sparkle on my lips before going to bed no but it's really minimal that i don't really mind you could even top these on lipsticks if you wanted to okay let's try another shade this is seductress i haven't tried this one it's very pale So that with this one, you can definitely see the glitter particles a little bit more. Honestly, it just added more of like a nudie brightening effect to my lips. But I just feel like for my skin tone, it's not one I would go for. It just reminds me of those glitter effect uh, lip glosses or lip toppers. And um, that's what I'm getting on this. So this will be really gorgeous on top of a lipstick and to keep your lips hydrated as well. But again, it feels amazing on the lips. And just for the sake of good order, I'm going to try Femme Fatale, which is the darkest shade. Look how gorgeous they look. This one's actually dark enough to give me a slight tint to my lips because I do have quite pigmented lips. And it is definitely one I would actually wear on a daily. Like, yes, there's some glitter, but the glitter is so fine. It adds some effect um, and just gives this, like, shine. And I think we need to remember these are lip balms. Um, they do feel really hydrating. It's not really noticeable and it makes my lips look extra plump. And this one is the only one I would say is a tint. The lilac one as well does show a little bit of a tint and probably are my favourite too. But I guess there's a lip balm shade for every skin tone colour. I don't think these are to give a tint or look like a lipstick or a lip gloss. As they are advertised to be so, they are only lip balms. Um, and they are different. And I think when people, when we see extra different things like this, people are a bit standoffish. These were gifted to me, but I'm always 100% honest. If I didn't like these, if I didn't like the way they felt on my lips, I would say it, guys. Um, but so far, I like it. If I'm the only one, honestly, I don't care. I honestly see myself wearing these every day. I love how it feels on the lips. And if I wasn't gifted these, you guys know me. I love Huda Beauty products so much that I would literally go buy one. And you don't need all the shades. Just get one that's suitable for your skin tone. So I thought I'd quickly review those because I'm not going to do a dedicated video for it. And I did, want to, I did want to share it with you guys because I actually really liked it. We're now going to move on to some skincare because my skin's extra dry right now. I'm just going to use some of this Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And you just want to press this into the skin. Gosh, it feels so hydrating. And before I do my makeup, most days I really like to use the Huda Beauty Wishful um, Enzyme Scrub because it's amazing. It makes your skin feel so soft. I'm then going to go in with a bit of Embryolisse Philoderm Emulsion Moisturizer. Just a little bit of, just a little dollop. We cannot forget SPF. You do want to put a good layer of this. Don't forget your neck. Don't forget your eyes too. And I really like this because it's not like ashy and it's very hydrating. Just bear in mind it's more on the thicker side and it's very hydrating. So, but so far I've been using this for over a month now, almost two now, and it's really good. I'm going to use some of MAC Prep and Prime. I've been really liking the effect this gives to my skin under my makeup. And it feels so soft on the skin. Okay, now we can move on to our base. I actually mixed the Revolution Pro CC cream and a little bit of NARS uh, tinted moisturizer on the top for the video I filmed and it made a really good combination. I'm just going to put a pump on each side and just blend this out. And I use the shade 11.2. And I really do put a thin layer of this. Like if I put too much, I do take a little bit off. Then I use NARS Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Cuba. And I just grabbed a little dollop and I put it on my cheeks just for that extra hydration, especially on my nose. Just gives an extra glow. And I realised I don't get like flakiness when I did this. Oh god, sorry, I love these lip balms. And I know they're not going to be for everyone, but... I love them. I'm going to use the Too Faced Bornless Way Concealer. And this is really good. I just want to thank my lovely subscriber for 
making me get this. I use the shade Sand and I've been loving it since. Just put it on like so. My nose. Just want to blend this out. Just before I set my under eyes, I like to go in with um, cream contour. The one I've been obsessed with is the Huda Beauty Tantor in Medium. I literally use this every day. And then I do like to take a little bit on the sides of my nose. I'm just blending everything out. I'm just going to use a little bit of my Laura Mercier powder. You just want to brush away that excess powder. Honestly, this powder is so bomb. I don't know how I stayed so long without it. Next, we're going to use the cream blush by Fenty Beauty in the shade Drama Class. And when I tell you I've been obsessed with this blush, I've been obsessed with this blush. So I really pack like a brush like this. This is NYX 110 brush. Pack it onto the cheeks. You can really be heavy handed with this. Like I said, the cream products by Fenty Beauty that just came out aren't as intense as other cream products that I've tried. But once you just be a little bit more heavy handed with it, trust me, the shades are just so pretty. Just going in with my sponge just to press that into the skin. Then finally I like to go in with my Ciate Dewy Stick Always. This is like my all time favourite highlighter. And I literally just pop some on my cheekbones like so. It's like the most subtle product ever but it gives such a healthy glow to the skin. Okay, I guess now we can move on to eyes. I didn't really do much. I only use this Hourglass um, Scattered Lights um, eyeshadow which is as you can tell i've used this a lot and this is in the shade foil and i just use my finger and literally just put it on your lid and the reason why i like these is because it's so easy to use and just adds a little bit of brightness to the eyes then I use some of my revolution sculpting bronzer in the shade cacao with a really tiny brush and I literally just put this on my lash line it's the most subtle thing ever but it gives a little smokiness to the eyes and I put some underneath too can you see a difference between this eye and this eye then of course I do like to curl my lashes I then also use the Huda Beauty double liner, the crayon side. This is the life liner. And I literally just put some on top and on the bottom. And it's so black. Then for the video, I actually use two mascaras. I do like to layer different ones because the brushes and the formula just add extra oomph. So I started off with the Paradise Ecstatic Mascara by L'Oreal. And this just mascara just gives really good volume. Then I'm going in with a little bit of my Lash Sensational. And this just really combs each individual lash and just extends them. Gosh, I just love layering my mascaras. Then I went in with my Morphe Lip Pencil in Sugar Pie. Again, another discovery I made thanks to my subscriber. And then I actually went in with two lipsticks. I first went in with the Color ColourPop uh, Hua Mulan lipstick. And then I went in with my Revolution Neutral lipstick in the shade Latte. There's a little bit of fallout under my eyes, but it's okay. All right, guys, this is the final look. Highly requested from my previous video. All the products that I used in this video, I love 100% and i've just been obsessed with them and they give the absolute beautiful look and it's still like a soft glowy 
glam i think that's what i'm gonna call this video actually i haven't done a makeup video in a while so i'm glad i did this thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you found this video helpful and um if you want to see more makeup tutorials give this video a thumbs up it does really help me out and subscribe please subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss any videos from me i'm gonna try and post as much as possible um, and definitely you're gonna find different types of content on my channel so it's never like the same thing so yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye